The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. Remember from Algebra 1 that a trinomial that has an x squared term, an x term, and a constant term, such as the one shown here, can be factored into the product of two binomials. In other words, we're going to set up two sets of parentheses, and inside each set of parentheses will be the two terms that compose each binomial. So what goes inside the parentheses? Well, the first term in each binomial will be a factor of the x squared term. And since x squared factors as x times x, we use an x as the first term in each binomial. The second term in each binomial will be a factor of our constant term, which in this case is 10. The trick is 10 factors in different ways. 10 can be thought of as 10 times 1 but it can also be thought of as 5 times 2. So how do we know whether we use a 10 and a 1 or a 5 and a 2? Well, take a look back at the middle term in our original trinomial. The rule is the factors of the constant term that we use must add together to equal the coefficient of our middle term. In other words, the factors of 10 that we use must add up to 7. And the factors of 10 that add to 7 are 5 and 2. So we put a positive 5 in our first binomial and a positive 2 in our second binomial, and we have our answer, x plus 5 times x plus 2 which is a factored version of x squared plus 7x plus 10. 